Hi, this is Lauren Fogelman at ExpertSportsPerformance.com, working with highly driven, motivated athletes on having more focus, confidence, the ability to effectively deal with distractions when competing for consistent high performance. Today's topic is top sports performance includes core strength. What does that mean to you when you think about your core? Is it your abs, your glutes, your torso? All those are part of your physical core, and those are the parts that we know and we ought to be training, especially if you're a competitive athlete. But there's another part of your core that you're probably missing out on. That's your emotional core. As a competitive rower, I realized that strength training alone wasn't going to take me the full distance. It was really about my mindset being able to stay focused under the heat of the moment that was going to make a difference in how well I performed. And with my clients that I talk to over and over and over again, that's really what makes a difference when they're competing. At that point, all the physical training is behind them. Now it's time to see how strong your mindset is that's going to take you the full distance. I'd like to show you the core framework that I developed. Commit. Are you fully committed to your vision and stepping into it? Are you willing to do what's necessary? Because it's not just about showing up for a workout. It's about how you show up for a workout. Are you really present or are you thinking about something else and just going through the motions? What about your lifestyle? Do you really practice optimal self-care? Because if you want top performance, then it's about creating that lifestyle that supports it all the way around. It's not just when you show up in the gym or on the field. After commitment, optimistic. Do you believe that you have what it takes to step into your vision. It might not be that you have it all now, but that you want to do whatever is necessary to develop it and strengthen it. Maybe it's your confidence. Maybe it's belief. Possibly it's more resilience and versatility. Different things for different people, but do you believe that you're willing to find it if you don't have it yet and train for it? After optimistic, resilience. Resilience is being able to dig deep when it's really those toughest moments. When I first started competitive rowing, there were some things I didn't know. Like I wasn't always sure if I was going to be able to have anything left in the tank. Not that I wanted anything left in the tank at a thousand meters, but sometimes those 120 strokes felt like they took forever. I had to learn how to dig deep to be able to really stay the course, be able to show up and be the best member possible to my boat when I was in a regatta. So there were some tough lessons for me in the beginning, but it was about learning from them and building upon them so that I had more successes. So what do you need to do to be able to dig deep and become more resilient? After that, enthusiasm. Do you love the process of what you need to do for high performance to be the best you could possibly be? It's not that you're going to be number one in the world, and maybe you will, that's great, but it's about knowing that you've done everything you possibly could to be the best that you could possibly be, no matter where you're at and where you want to go. Excellence is much better than perfectionism. Interesting, huh? You might want to think about that. It's about striving to be the best you could possibly be, no holding back whatsoever, giving it everything you have, putting your heart into it. That trumps perfectionism each and every time. The other thing is as you train your core, as you build core strength, your physical and your emotional core strength, benefits happen. The benefits of having a strong emotional core is you have more self-control. You don't have to be breaking equipment because things don't go right anymore. You have better control over your emotions. The other part is you feel empowered. You know what you're capable of. You know how to be able to dig deep during those tough moments and maintain focus. You're not as negative. 
you stop beating up on yourself during those tough moments or if you made a mistake because the more you race, the more mistakes you're likely to make along the way. Nobody's perfect. Perfectionism works against you. Once again, it's about excellence. Improved emotional balance. You have greater emotional stability. There's more balance in your life. And the bottom line is, you become better at your sport. You become a better athlete. Your, your sports improvement, your sports performance improves. And I want that for you. It really is wonderful seeing things happen and feeling that you deserve it and you earned it. What I want to really do is challenge you. I want you to go through this list in the framework and see where your baseline is. How committed are you? And where aren't you committed? What do you believe in? What could you use to really work on so that you can strengthen that belief that you have in yourself, your confidence? Where are you resilient? Where do you dig deep? And where do you maybe hold back a little, if any? Do you love the process? Do you love to train? Do you love who you're becoming as a result of taking on whatever is necessary to step into your vision? That is a very, very cool thing. Go through that, get your baseline, then let's set up a 30-day challenge. Each week, focus on one of these. Week one, see where you can improve your commitment. Week two, see if you can tighten up your optimi optimism. Week three, let's work on resilience. Week four, the enthusiasm and loving the process. After 30 days, you'll see the needle move. I'd love to be able to really hear from you what you thought about this training, three things you took away, what you're going to commit to over the next 30 days. Go ahead and post a comment, share it. I read them all. I respond as much as possible. I'd love to be able to hear from you. If you're interested in my free special report, top seven mistakes even the best athletes make, go to my website, expertsportsperformance.com. Put your name and email address in the upper right-hand corner immediately you will get that free special report. I look forward to hearing from you. Post a comment, Lauren Fogelman, expertsportsperformance.com, showing athletes how to stay cool in the heat of the moment.